Hi again, everybody, and welcome to this week's Orange Perspective as we get ready for the USC Trojans Friday night here at Reeser Stadium. Now, Reeser has been a glorious place for these Beaver Trojans matchups in this new millennium. And today on the Orange Perspective, we're going to look back at some moments that I'm sure are indelibly etched in all of Beaver Nation's collective memory. Let's get started with 2000. Now, the Beavers hadn't beaten USC since OJ and company came here on Veterans Day in 1967, but it was clear on a beautiful night in Corvallis that this was a special Oregon State team. Simonton up the middle, Simonton into the secondary, spins, breaks the tackle to 10, to the five, touchdown Beavers, Ken Simonton! Simonton the handoff, Ken cuts to the left, first down and more, 30, 25, 20, Simonton on his way, Ken into the end zone, touchdown Beavers! And the streak is going to end here tonight. The game also featured a memorable chase of a possum at the opposite end zone. But USC was chasing Ken Simonton throughout the game. And on a key play, Simonton broke left. And the Beavers sealed the game over the USC Trojans in their first win against the men of Troy since 1967. The game also featured an unbelievable defensive play by Terrence Carroll, an interception against future Heisman Trophy winner Carson Palmer. Big game, Beavers 31, USC 21 in 2006. Beautiful sun splash day, much like we're enjoying here today. And we hope to have throughout the afternoon on Friday prior to the Trojans this week. But that October 28th day, USC came in as the number three team in the country. They'd won 27 consecutive games in conference play. But the Beavers got the early jump and actually built a 29 to 10 lead Moore rolling, Moore's going to run, and Moore into the end zone, touchdown Beavers! Throws down the right sideline for Strotter, Sammy dives, and makes a great catch at the USC 20-yard line. Retreats to throw, fires for Newton, back in the end zone, caught, touchdown Beavers! John David Booty to throw, has got Jarrett, the ball is picked off! Brian Payton down the right sideline, 20, he's at the 30, 40-yard line, Finally run out of bounds, Payton the Nickelback picks it off, it's Beaver football in USC territory! Strotter back to his 30 yard line, starts up the middle, gets to the 40, he's got a seam, 45 midfield, 45, 40, he's got a chance to go, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Beavers! Now it comes down to the two point conversion try as the Beavers try to hang on and win in Corvallis. Booty on first down, takes the snap, turns, throws, batted down! The ball was knocked down, away! And the Beavers will win it! The Beavers will win it! Two, one, it's over! And the USC streak is over at 27! The Beavers 33, USC 31! I say Jeff Van Orso, and you say batted down! And the Beavers will win it, 33-31. Jeff batted down the two-point conversion attempt, and again, it was a sea of orange here at beautiful Reeser Stadium. Two years later, USC and Pete Carroll and that powerhouse come to town, ranked number one in the country. The Beavers hadn't beaten a number one since USC in this ballpark in 1967. And on this day, everything came together for the Beavers in all phases, but in particular, the breakout day for a man named Jacquez Rodgers. Pete Carroll said after the game, we couldn't tackle him. And Quiz kept finding creases and zones and breaking tackles and spinning his way to an incredible 189 yard performance. Middle screen is caught. Good catch by Jaquiz. Jaquiz cuts back across the field. Jaquiz hit from behind inside the 10. Looks and throws toward the back of the end zone. Tip, caught, touchdown Beavers! James Rogers with the touchdown! When Moivau hit James Rogers on a deflected pass, it was 21-0 Beavers at halftime. Mark Sanchez and company came back and made some plays in the second half, but then with the score 21-14, a one-possession game, Greg Laybourne made a play. Now trying to come all the way back. Sanchez to throw, fires, and it's intercepted by Laybourne! Down the right sideline to the 15, Laybourne to the 10, Laybourne to the 5, Laybourne down! Beavers punched it in and went on to defeat USC on that memorable night. Beavers 27, USC 21. 
Two years later, Lane Kiffin and a ranked team, in fact, they were number 20, came to town. The Beavers were kind of having an uneven season. They put everything together against USC here at Reeser in 2010, knocking off the men of Troy 36 to seven, equaling the largest margin of victory ever in the series. And again, it was a big day for Jaquiz Rogers, Ryan Katz threw two touchdowns, the Beaver defense gets a pick six from Jordan Poyer. Barkley to throw, gets it out and it's intercepted by Poyer, right sideline, 45-40, 35-30, 25-20, cuts back to the 10, to the five, no penalty flags down, touchdown Beavers! And knocked starting quarterback Matt Barkley out of the game, a very physical dominating performance. So there you have it. The Orange Perspective has been a very good one for the Beavers here at Reeser Stadium in this new millennium. We hope that you'll be part of what takes place here on Friday night, nationally televised. It's gonna be a great gathering and an opportunity for the Beavers to achieve their seventh win of the season. And it would be four consecutive over USC. The Trojans' three-game road losing streak to the Beavers in conference play is the longest the men of Troy have sustained. So the Beavers hope to keep it going Friday night, and we hope that you're part of it. Thanks for joining us. So long, everybody.